<clears throat> Everything's looking good. All right. Okay, so um, this is just an initial sketch of Kermit. Um, just a very preliminary sketch to kind of get a, a full out idea of what I want him to look like. Um, just just a quick doodle, quick sketch. Um, so not much to look at, but this is going to be the basis of the form of what we're gonna be working around. Now um, this, canvas area I tend to work in twice the size of the actual print so that I can get a higher def um, definition um, quality line and everything like that when it's you know printed down on a smaller size so uh, this is intended to be an 11 by 17 print and so I'm working on a 22 by 34 size canvas if you will and I think I think I don't want to focus so much on the whole figure here. So I've got Kermit and I've got, you know, Banjo and then they're kind of sitting on a, you know, half-ass drawing log there, um, which I'm thinking isn't going to be so important. I think the, the main aspect to focus on here is going to be um, Kermit and the body of the Banjo. Um, unfortunately, the Banjo is so long that it's it doesn't, Fully need to be in key in the center, so it the the, the fretboard is probably going to end up hanging off the side of the um, canvas in general. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to this this white isn't really there. It's just so that I can see clearly on the background there. I think what we're going to do is take all these pieces here, and we're going to make them because all of these are individual, the blue and the red and the black, they're all individual layers. And so I think we're going to put them all on one singular brand new layer, new from visible, get rid of these. And so, you know, uh, we'll lock these as well. Cause I always like to keep the original sketch idea in case I need to go back later to, um, you know, kind of start over if you will. And so, uh, we're going to scale this up because I kind of want to focus on, you know, like I said, mostly around his head and uh, the arm with the fretboard. So we're going to scale. We're going to scale up that image. Let's see here. All right. So we're going to go. Kind of, now this isn't going to be the center, you know, center focal point here. I'm just scaling the image so that I can adjust it. Let's see if this freezes up the screen. If not, uh, I can I can back back out. But it, it's a it's a grandiose size, as as you can see. I've got the uh, swirl there. It's a grandiose size, so it, it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit of doing on on my computer in general. Um, but e there there we go, there we go. Yeah, and it did lock the screen. So what we're going to do is stop sharing. Okay, and then we're going to go back into it. No, not a problem. <clears throat> sharing. Sure. There. Let's see if it pops up. There it goes. And as you can see, you can see that we have it scaled. And... So now we're going to kind of adjust. I don't need so much of his arm sticking out the side there behind the banjo, but I want to make sure his eye doesn't kind of fall off either. Let me turn this white back on so we can kind of see where we're looking at here. Um, because the idea is, uh, you know, this morning my wife showed me the this new video that uh, the Henson Studios had put out where it was canvas or uh, canvas. It was Kermit out in a uh, swampy field with his banjo, and he played the whole Rainbow Connection song. And it, it was like one of the first like uh, visual things that like caught my attention today. So it's been in my head today. So I thought, you know what? That that's that's really cool. I want to 
I think I want to do a Kermit print of him playing his banjo. And I think, let's see here, let me show you. I think like in this area here, I kind of want to have some lyrics to Rainbow Connection. And I think I actually, let's see here. I think uh, I don't want that scaled so much. Let's let's reduce the scale on this. Kind of bring it down to like there. I think like there. And we could probably bring his his outside arm in a little bit more. <clears throat> Drew in the moment, what's going on, buddy? Uh, thank you, thank you, sir. Um, this is my first time kind of live streaming something like this. It's it's the creative process, and I'm trying to translate it in, in, a, in a way that makes sense to people because in the end, this is going to look like, um, in the end, this is going to look like a kindergartner drew it, okay? And dang, every time I do the scaling, it freezes that, that image there. Hold on a second. All right, stop sharing. I'll have to, I'll have to realize that this is going to happen if I'm going to have to scale things because it's bogging down on the um, video card, I suppose, trying to stream what has happened. But I, I like this size right here. Let's see here. I did, I did draw the black lines there, didn't I? I didn't mean to do that, but I meant to do that on a separate layer. Let's see if we can get rid of some of these black lines. It's not, it's not going to matter in the end. It's just going to look like he's growing some facial hair there. Um, so yeah, and then this black line on this log down here, I think is going to be useless as well. I don't think it's going to matter. Oop. I don't think it's going to matter that he looks like he's sitting on a log. You're, you're going to focus mostly on the fact that it's Kermit playing a banjo, and uh, we're going to have some lyrics here. Uh, the Rainbow Connection lyrics, I think, are, are mostly going to be kind of, you know, swirling here and a couple lines here. And then I want to get, like, the, uh, what is it, the dreamer, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. I want to get those lines, like, down here. I think that I think that's the initial layout. So um, there's also going to be something of a border as well. Let me add another layer here. Something of a border that is going to be, like... Probably gonna stick out from like there to there, there to there. Come on. Go. Oh. Ah, <sighs> so much for drawing and trying to stream it at the same time. This is insane. Un undo. Let's see here. Edit. Undo. 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 I don't know why I did it like that. Comics Club, what's going on? It's not so much artistic secrets as much as it is just um, the thought process going behind everything. And it's undo pencil. Let's do this. I didn't realize StreamYard was going to bog it down so hard. You know what? That's a simple fix. We'll just do that. Come back. All right, here we go. Let's try this again. Kind of, kind of a layout of where the border is. And it's just a simplistic layout of the border. The border might be, you know, they tend to be more artistic, more decorative. So that's kind of where we're going to be. And I think Kermit himself, um, like I said, I don't want his eye to stick off frame. So I think just at the edge of the border is going to be plenty enough. And um, the lyrics... I drew those stupid lines in that layer again, but that's okay. All right, so I think that'll end up being a good frame in general. Um, 
What do you think? Should we scoot them over a little bit? Get more of his body in there. I don't want so much negative space in the back behind his head, though. So, um, what do we think? What do, what, do we, what do we think is the solution to this? To fill out as much space as possible without having... I, I want to make sure it's vi the body of the banjo is visible here. What do I... I'm going to have to maybe put something back there. Not lyrics like in the front process, but um, hmm. what is a Kermit the Frog thing that that might be a uh, uh, so I, I also being the rainbow connection. I kind of want to have a rainbowish background as well. Hi, Sammy. I want to have a rainbowish background, but I get. Um, I mean, I guess we could just lose the negative space. This, once again, this is my creative process where I go back and forth in my head, try and figure out what what's going to be visually better. All right, so let's just kind of move back this way. So I think what this aspect is, moving it farther back this way, I think that the key component isn't necessarily going to be Kermit himself, but uh, maybe doing more with the lyrics of the song in the forefront. I think that's the way to go and then have the rainbow background as well um, now that comes a whole nother faction so uh, or factor so I can spend I can do the artwork on Ker on Kermit and have that done within you know a couple hours it's the backgrounds that always have to be contrasting so I actually have I have, when it comes to coloring I'm colorblind, and I actually, my sister was amazing enough for Christmas to buy me these chroma, chroma glasses. Now, they don't quite fit well on the glasses I have, but they, they allow colors to pop. These aren't exactly, exactly the most uh, um, fashionable, if you will, but you'd be amazed what they can do for my eyes. Like, I'm looking at this already, and the, uh, the blues and the red, you know, I don't realize how muted they are. I don't realize how muted they've been my whole life. So I look at these and uh, this is just incredible. So when it comes to colors in the background, when it comes to a rainbow stuff, most of that is um, uh, base colors as it is, you know, reds, blues, yellows, greens. But then when you get to the indigos and the purples and stuff like that, that's when things really start going wrong for me. Um, but I don't... I don't want to just do solid stripes. I think along with here's the here's where the idea comes from. Along with the swirling of the words, I think there should be a swirling of a rainbow as well in the background. That's interesting. Um, hmm. So let's see here. Let's see here. We have to go with the. So the black lines are kind of like where the words are going to lay out, where they're going to kind of follow a kind of a windy, windy little swoop, if you will. Um, and then I'm just going to, I'm going to use, I'm going to use this yellow line, and it's going to kind of represent the way that the that the rainbow is going to move in the background. Um, and I kind of want deep swoops as well, maybe even swirls in the rainbow. So. So it'll probably, oh, not, not the move, edit, edit, undo, here we go, pencil. So it'll kind of have like some deep swoops. The lines will probably be closer together though. This line is kind of thick to represent the different colors and then maybe go down like that. Oh, see, that might be good. So, all right, not on that one. Edit, undo, pencil there. So, we'll have a couple of the colors up here, but then starting with uh, one, two, three, this one, two, three, the 
fourth, around the fourth color, it'll diverge and start kind of moving this way, kind of swirling down. That'll be interesting because it'll be whimsical, kind of like in a Muppet sense, if you will. That kind of makes sense. Because in the Muppet world, nothing nothing is straight and, and nothing is perfect and ordinary. You know what I'm saying? It's all got to be, there's no straight angles and there's no, there's no logic to the artwork, if you will. So yeah, I think, I think that's the way that I want to go with that is couple, couple swoop kind of wavy. Now these are just basic curves. I might, I might be a little bit wavier as it goes along. And then on those last ones kind of swirl around, they might actually let's see here and do that one. They might actually just come around like full circle. Like this one might just come around and then the one behind that might come around as well. You got to fill out the background because you don't you you'd be surprised as to what really pops out that you don't realize. So you, everything in the background's got to be filled out. Yeah. Yeah. I think that makes sense. It's already coming together pretty well. I'm 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 pretty happy with that. Usually I spend a couple hours just toiling on uh, what. What am I trying to accomplish here, right? Um, oh, also, uh, I don't know who's still sitting in the chat, but the reason I'm doing this is this weekend was uh, Mainframe Comic Con online, and I know a couple of the artists that were um, in the tech, in the artist alley on main on Mainframe Comic Con online were were doing some live streams and stuff like that, and some of them were lucky enough to actually uh, be you know, shown on the webcast and everything like that. But I thought, hey, you know what? Um, maybe people want to come and watch how I do this. Um, Sam, uh, Sammy, I don't know if you had seen my posts on Instagram or not. Uh, let's see here. This, you can go see all of the stuff that I have available. Not that I want you to leave the stream right now. But this is this is my shop right here. Um, you can go and see all the different artwork that I have available as as well. Um, I had some new stuff that went up this weekend for the, the con. Some different stuff than what I've been used to doing as well. Um, yeah, it's okay. I feel like a lot of people that I communicate like the algorithm on Instagram and stuff like that is so weird. It's hard to catch people sometimes. So I kind of have to like tag them in it mostly, and I know that gets annoying. And I don't want to annoy people with me tagging them in my stuff, but at the same time, it's like, I think you would be interested in seeing this, so I'm going to tag you in it, you know. Um, okay. And, and, yeah, I know that I really did a super rudimentary, like, Kermit here. Like, obviously, he's going to have more detail in his fingers. And he has, you know, this little guy right here will have a thumb kind of popping up over here. That's actually a finger right there, and then he's got a couple that curl up, kind of to pluck the banjo. Um, so yeah, so that that makes sense. Okay, what what else do I need to add here? So I I've got the figure itself. I've got the lyrics of the song. I've actually got a reference to the song as a background. How many more things do I need to add to this, All right? Anybody have any thoughts? Anybody have any thoughts on what, what, um, so I'm listening and I, all right, uh, I can put you on my TV, so I'm still listening and I can look at that link on my phone. Okay, very cool. <laughs> um, who has any thoughts on, on the creative, on the creative process here? Um, let us, the yellow isn't, I think the yellow isn't standing out enough, enough actually. Gretchen's in the background making some dinner. Sorry. It's okay. 
um, colors. Let's let's change that yellow to something that will still kind of stand out as well. There. I'll try that one there. The um, StreamYard is really heavy on the computer while I'm trying to do this. And it, I, I just need a faster computer. So if, it's, if it doesn't look like it's doing anything on your screen, it, it, it is. It is doing something. It just takes a second. Do, do, do. Did it do it? No. Still working. That's the problem with working on such a, a bigger size canvas. Oh, I hit the movie creator. Um, a bigger size canvas is that I'm working on something twice the size than what it's going to turn out to be because I want it to be as high, high def, high quality as possible when it's reduced down to half size. <clears throat> so that's kind of, that's another reason that these tend to take a little bit longer time as well. Oh, here it goes, here it goes slowly. It's, it's moving slowly, you see it? You can do it. You can do it, little computer. You can do it, little guy. You got it. Um, Hi, guys. So I think, I think Sammy's the only one still sticking around. Hi, Sammy. A couple other people popped on, but they left. They got, they got bored with my process. It's not the most creative, or it's not the most entertaining thing to watch. That's because all of the entertaining stuff is going on up here. Yeah. It's not going on I, here. I'm, this is just the tool in which to bring this out. So. Yeah, exactly. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to. And as handsome as you are, you know, what's inside your head, nobody can see what you. Exactly. And <laughs> it, it, it's hard, it's hard to translate it down on, on, you know, three words onto the screen as well. You've got it. Yeah, I got it. Uh, we'll figure it out. You and me, Sammy, we'll figure it out, right? I'm about to make a lot of noise and I'm sorry. No, you have to leave. Nope. <laughs> Ribs are coming out. So, um, uh, like I said, main, mainframecomiccon.com is where a lot of stuff was happening this weekend as well. And so um, that's kind of where a lot of this spawned from. Um, you know, it, it was kind of my first time technically tabling at a con, um, mostly because I, I never really had the courage to do it before. But I figured this is kind of, a no loss situation so if nobody paid attention i'd be okay but uh people people came through and it's you know i'm grateful for the experience and it was a really good time this weekend it's not over it's actually not going to be over for quite some time so uh mike mike o'reilly one of the two hello what's going on um you'll be happy to know you'll be happy to know my brother caught fish and cooked it today and i actually liked it oh, <laughs> that's right so uh, so we're so getting fish and chips in the UK. Perfect. That sounds awesome. I'm glad that you were actually enjoyed it. <laughs> I forgot about that. Well, I'm glad that that was your first uh, time eating fish and not going to freaking McDonald's. Uh, so, so Mike, uh, I am just kind of running through the, the process today of, of working on one of my art prints, uh, starting out with rudimentary sketches. Like I was saying earlier, this is going to look like uh, this is going to look like a kindergarten drew it because it's just it's just a bunch of scribbles over scribbles just so I can get that basic idea of uh, what it is that I'm, I'm trying to accomplish in my own head, right? So the, uh, let me explain it again. So um, Kermit the Frog with the banjo, always known for doing uh, Rainbow Connection. So the black lines here on the in the forefront are are going to represent lyrics. Uh, the like the you know most well-known lyrics that everybody knows from rainbow connection in the background those swirls there are going to represent a rainbow in the background and i thought like on the lower end down here it would just kind of start swirling almost like a van gogh sort of thing you know starry night like you've got this swoop of of stuff and then it kind of you know you've got the little curls here and there as well now i drew uh, much more of a kermit there, there's a oops cancel there's 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 a lot more of, of Kermit here, but I, I thought that that would like be a good focus of just like him get the basis of the banjo 
We've got more of the banjo over here. I know it's it's looking kind of laggy on the computer screen there. Um, but so that's 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 kind of where we're, we're going at. Uh, hello, Swanee. Uh, Mike said, I've always wanted to get back into drawing. Question, how long have you been drawing and how many hours slash day would you say you draw? Well, this past week, it was eight hours a day, uh, every day up until um, mainframe Comic Con happened. I, I pulled out 10 prints. What was it? I think it was 10 brand new prints. And that was, that was 40 hours worth of work right there. Um, and uh, how long have I been drawing? I've been drawing my whole life, but this style of art that I've been doing was kind of an experiment and something on a whim that I started a couple of years ago. So I've only been doing it for a couple of years, this, this sort of way. Uh, now, I know you guys can't really see, but I have a tablet here in which I draw on, which is that I'm watching you guys right now on my tablet, but so I can bounce back and forth. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I have this tablet that I draw on. A lot of people use like iPads and stuff like that. And, you know, this works just as well. Uh, the thing about this tablet is, though, is that it plugs into my laptop. So I use uh, art programs that I already have. Um, uh, like, uh, let's see here. What do we got? You know, there's a bunch of freebies online, like Krita and Medibang and um, Corel Drawer and stuff like that, that you can also get as well. I tend to use GIMP. It is a free program that is also um, uh, kind of a, it is also kind of a uh, mix of, um, what am I trying to think of? Uh, um, Photoshop. It's a mix of Photoshop and a couple other things. It's not as, as strong of a uh, program, if you will. Sorry, I got so many things going on here. Here we go. And can you see when I do that? No, you can't. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm using GIMP, uh, Medibang. Uh, there's another one that I use. I do inking. So I, I pre I've been wanting to get into inking in comics. So I take a lot of the pencils that a lot of well-known artists put up on online, and I start inking those as well, just kind of as practice. And... For the inking, I've been using um, Clip Studio, Clip Studio, Clip Paint Studio, if you will. Uh, and that way, you can get a lot of the um, the pressure points on this pen. You know, a lot of sensitivity and stuff like that. So uh, that's that's what I've been using at this time. This will be mine. You like this one? So Swan, this is based off of the fact that you sent Gretchen that video of Kermit doing Rainbow Connection and, <laughs> and, it, and it made my face wet today and um, <laughs> curse you for doing that. <laughs> but because because it was such a visually uh, appealing thing, like the thing that kind of woke me up today because it made me feel things, um, it's been stuck in my head today. So... Sammy says, uh, okay, I'm going to be quiet for a bit because I'm looking at your stuff, but I'll watch you on my TV. Okay, right on. <laughs> um, what am I using? Hopefully that makes sense, Mike. If you have any questions, feel free to hit me up, um, and I can definitely answer any questions you have about uh, uh, drawing programs as well. And uh, I love the first item, the pink and purple Avengers. I'm obsessed. So our, <laughs> so our friend Roxy over in uh, California, she hit me up yesterday. She goes, look, I love that Avengers print that you did, uh, but I would love it in pinks and purples and blues. And I said, done, Roxy. I said, uh, if you think you'd want to buy it, I'll, 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 make, I'll change it up and make one for you right now. So that's why it's called the Roxy Tart Edition, because our friend Roxy Tart over in California, um, you know, it, it was her idea for the color scheme. So, but yeah. People are loving that, and so that's a that's a concept that I'm going to be moving forward with. I think soon too is the whole uh, pastels kind of colors for things that wouldn't typically be that color. 
uh, I might change up even like the Ghostbusters and and stuff like that to, yes. to, to kind of, to kind of represent that. Uh, you know, I don't want to have colorful people. Oh uh, yes, the colorful people. As colorful people, oh, we they... need pretty colors. See, yeah. So I I always think. I need the colors. Uh, and that's another that's another extension of the way that this stuff is always ever evolving. Is that. Uh, you know, I always find out what, what appeals to people, and then I kind of adapt to that. Now, there was a long time uh, I was creating artwork, and I don't know if you notice, if you're looking at my artwork, if you look at some of the, the, the figures themselves, some, like characters, people, they didn't, have, they didn't have eyes. And that was kind of the thing, because the eyes don't really work with the art style that I was doing, but people were really, like, in a violent way were very angry that they didn't have eyes like they found it very disturbing they had, strong feelings. they had very strong feelings including like my chip and dale and my darkwing duck and stuff i mean not darkwing uh, uh uh scrooge mcduck stuff like that so i put like little happy eyes on them and, and i think that's more appealing to people as well um but it was brought to my attention that like the captain marvel and the rainbow bright they don't have eyes either so i think i might just draw like little i'm not gonna draw i'm not gonna draw happy eyes on on maybe a, it's just time for a revamp. Yeah, maybe I just got to revisit some of that old stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, okay, because I wanted to... Oh. <laughs> You're buying it? Okay, right on. Oh, is that... Ah, that was the that was the Samantha that just liked my shop. I didn't even put that together. I got a notification that uh, Samantha liked my uh, Etsy shop. So, right on. Thank you. Thank you, Sammy. Um... And uh, so, obviously, the, the sale for things isn't ending today or anything like that, but I've been really pushing it hard because it's supposed to be like a convention. So, you, you know, that's you're supposed to really push your stuff during a convention. So um, it's been a good weekend as far as the shop goes in general, especially these new items. I'm glad people are digging it. It's in a way that I think uh, I'm going to start moving my art forward with here in the future as well, especially with the whole new color scheme. Especially, you know, I have these, I am colorblind and uh, my sister got me these colorblind glasses. Not, not exactly the most fashionable things, but it really makes things pop for me. It's, uh, it's amazing what it does for my eyes, what, what I can and cannot see. So, all right. What are, what are, what are thoughts here? What are thoughts here? Is there, is there anything that can be added or changed or manipulated on this guy here. Now, obviously, it's going to be way more colorful. Um, but I think for the most part, we kind of have the basis of the idea. And so, like I said, it looks like a kindergartner drew this. And it probably doesn't look like anything that, you know, Hopefully you look at this and then finally when you see the end product, you go, that's a huge change. I was worried because that looked like crap, you know, so <laughs> that's, that tends to be how these start out. Um, let me see here. Let me see if this. Come on. I had also started on something else as well with um, uh, Gretchen had made a request. West. I have multiple items in the works right now, but uh, let's go here. Let's see if this opens up easily enough. Yeah. Good old strawberry shortcake, right? Yes. Yeah. So once again, that's a little scribble as well. But that's something that Gretchen requested, and I've been working on that. I think it looks cute. That's my childhood. Right? Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Yeah, and that's another one that I started. But that 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 one, there's a lot of detail that goes into this one. Yeah. And it's this strawberry shortcake. Yeah, not the, I, not I the, new, like the new ones. Not the new fancy version this that one. came out. Right? This one right here. But you said you want this one in weird colors as well, right? Yeah, well, she's already in my colors. She's already pinks and reds and... Okay. She's no purples, but pinks and reds and whites and greens. Okay. Yeah. Cool. A tiny swan in the background. 
uh, Swan says that uh, Kermit needs a tiny swan in the background. I 100% agree with that. Of course you do. Of course you do, dear. Yes, a little, little swan in the background. Right on. Yeah. Make it happen. Hi, Swan! <laughs> um, let's see here. Let me see if I got anything else worth worth showing that I'm currently working on as well. Um, do, oh, um, let me see if this one pops up. Let me take a second. Not responding, of course, right? Bum, 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 bum. Stop staring at me. <laughs> yeah, Swan loves that line, she's don't you, Swan? She, oh my God. Christian, you're lucky she's not in the room. So. Here's a. Oh, I don't think. I don't think it popped up. Let me uh, stop sharing my screen and then share it again. I think it bogged it down. Hold on. Hold it on. Up oh, there it goes. There it goes. Good old Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory, working on that one as well. So sometimes you just kind of have to sketch it out and then walk away from it for a little while because I still don't know what I'm going to do with Dexter. I don't really know what I'm going to put in the background for st strawberry shortcake. So this one hit me with the most inspiration today overall. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, once again, it's Kermit playing the banjo, doing a rainbow connection. It's kind of those black lines next to his face and under his hands. And then the swirls in the background are going to be like a rainbow that end up doing like a, a swirl in itself. So I think I think we're at that stopping point. I think we're at. I I feel like if nobody has any other opinions on on anything that you know needs to be changed on it, that's kind of the direction we're going to move on. Now I think we're going to focus more on the words as opposed to Kermit himself when it comes to this. More stylized words so they stand out more because that's kind of the basis of the whole thing. Um, I don't know. You know, I'll go back and forth and I'll put uh, updates on my Instagram at TV Artworks if, if people want to pay attention to that. And we'll see, we'll see what happens there. I'm so bad with creativity. It looks awesome so far. Thank you. I'm glad that these rudimentary sketches, uh, hopefully you can see the vision on where I might be going with this. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Uh, I don't. I, I can't say I'll have this up anytime soon necessarily because these tend to take a long time for me. Um, but uh, the motivation for Mainframe Comic Con really put the crunch on me this past weekend or past week when I put up all those brand new prints in the store. Those those eleven by eleven prints are all brand new this week, uh, including the Avengers one, Sammy, that you like, brand new. That one literally went up yesterday, and so I'm glad you dig it. Um, thank you for your support on that. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get those out to you guys pretty soon. I got to wait till this weekend is over, till the sale is over, uh, so that I can take all of my uh, prints that need to be done to this new place because the other you know, places I went to were all closed down because of the whole situation right now. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll get it all figured out together. But thank you guys so much for your support. Um, I think that went more smoothly than I, I thought it was going to be. So I'm pretty happy with that. And uh, I bought that baby. Bought bought that baby. Oh, I bought that baby. <laughs> gotcha. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Let's take a look. Let's see. Do, do, do. Come on, stop bogging down. What is this? 
Slim Deacon. Slim Deacon came through, bought the uh, Animaniacs, all three of them, nice. like a boss. That's that's my buddy Slim Deacon for you. And then Sam, Sammy bought the Avengers, the Roxy Tart Edition. Nice. Thing selling, selling pretty well, so it's awesome. Thank you, Sammy. Thank you so much for for uh, supporting support the cause, supporting the cause of support. of independent art. It always means a lot. It really does. Mm. So, um, what do you think, Ben? Um, what do you think? It, it make, oh, does it make sense? I'm feeling the flow. You get. You see where I'm going mm -hmm. with it? Yep. I that. We both stood here and like full on ugly cried for like 10 minutes. She's like, here, I need, I just woke up, got my first cup of coffee. She's like, here, I, I, need, need, you to I need you to see something. I need you to feel things. <sighs> you need to feel the feelings once in a while. I've been emotionally drained the rest of the day. So Yeah, but it's a good kind. It is a good kind. It's, it's good kind. <laughs> it's Jim Henson telling us it's going to be. Amazing. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. We got to support each other, especially in this time. You're absolutely right, Sammy absolutely right i'm glad we've gotten to know you you've been awesome hanging out in my in not my streams our streams lately it's been awesome getting to know you all right well uh this has been going for like 40 minutes and i rambled for like 30 of it and yeah. did about 10 minutes worth of work but it, it, once you start it's weird how it snowballs once you start with one step how it all just kind of falls together sometimes sure but uh, hopefully I didn't ramble too much and I made somewhat sense of what my creative process tends to be. And uh, yeah. Oh, our video comes out tomorrow. Oh, we have a new video coming out tomorrow where Gretchen reacts to uh, her first time seeing some uh, internet, videos. Inter internet videos that have been making the circuit for literally years. Uh, so I'm a little behind. that'll be up tomorrow afternoon, actually. So. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for hanging out with me, and um, this was fun. And I think I might do this in the future when I come up with a, with an idea of something that I want to create. I might sit down and and uh, do kind of a little brainstorm idea session online because it, it seemed to kind of help things move a little bit more swiftly when I had uh, peering eyeballs watching me do this. So, all right, guys, I'm a, I'm gonna get out of here and. Uh, Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'll talk to you guys soon. Say bye. Bye. Bye.